All right, y'all. So I just want to say this real quick before we start. I finally got into the uh, closed beta for Street Fighter VI. Um, I like it. Y'all like the game. I like it. It's fun. The only problem I have with the game, which y'all going to see, it's going to be a glaring weakness of mine, is I play on a fight stick, and I don't have a fight stick yet. Me and I analyzed Pronto, plan on getting a fight stick. I want a mad cast, but uh, all right, all that's neither here nor there. Point is, is I don't got no kind of reactions. My inputs, I just suck on this PlayStation 4 controller. I mean, 5 controller, pause, and it just ain't right for me. Y'all see, I look terrible in Mortal Kombat too, but y'all, let's get into the video. I'm going to give y'all a little bit of what was going on. I was in training mode, and uh, all of a sudden, I was pushing buttons, and he stopped uh, fighting, so... I'm gonna let y'all hear a little bit before I get into the video. I mean, before I, you know, you see my first match, just, just spacing. I love the training stage. Okay, so Ryu has command normal, so back. That move right there is to. Okay. So when you are close to somebody, you. I can't cancel that into a DP. <laughs> All right, we'll just stick with that. Unless you just link it slow as fuck. There you go. Hey, you gotta do it fast instead of slow. <laughs> I got a little carried away hitting this ninja. My button's not coming out no more. Waiting for opponent. I don't want to fight nobody. I don't want to hurt nobody. Let us begin. Hey, I'm back violent again. Alright, now I'm gonna turn down the audio. What I'm saying is really neither here nor there. If y'all wanna hear it, well, you know, I maybe I'll play some later on in the video. But um my boy Space Jam Jordan brought up an important point. He asked me, he said, well, he didn't ask me. He just said, man, it's so hard to get used to the pacing on a new game. And that's the first thing I had to deal with. Like, if you watch this match, you'll see. I, you know, when you play somebody, whether it's a new game or not, you don't know what your opponent is capable of doing when you play it for the first time. So you have to fill out a person regardless. So in this matchup, a jump in, like I just did a jump in. He anti-aired me, but he tried to link. His, that looked like a crouching medium, but you're out of linking into a DP. So at some point, he has some input errors. I see all that. And my point in this video is they're going to be just as nervous as you are, whether that's anxiety or what. I start pushing buttons because I'm trying to figure out what pussy will keep him from pushing buttons. So yeah, it looks like I'm just pushing buttons. But yeah, uh, medium kick seemed to be the button to just stop his forward movement. But um. Hey, fireball check. I don't mind losing life in this game. I've been playing Mortal Kombat 11 and Mortal Kombat X so much. You can't scare me with damage. When I die, that's when I fear dying. I mean, literally like the last 10% of my health is when I start worrying. So the first 90%, I'm just going to, I'm going to YOLO that. Yeah, all right, y'all. I'm trying, trying to watch my voice. I mean, my, uh, <laughs> watch my words. You two say, watch what you're saying. All right, so anyway, I'm going to YOLO the first 90% of my life. All right, so like going back to this video, I'm pretty sure he didn't mean to DP, but hey, nobody gets a break. You got to punish him. And I'm trying to see what he's willing to do on Wake Up. So that's why I ran up on him. But I'm okay. I remember that instant. I tried to grab him. I don't know why grab didn't come out, but that comes along with the controller. I'm just not in sync with it. My timing is completely off. I couldn't do combos. Y'all saw a little bit of it. I couldn't even do combos. 
Y'all probably couldn't hear it because the volume's low, but I just said that. I'll let y'all hear the timing on this, but if I had a fight stick, I'd be a lot more fluid. But it just is what it is. All right, so like I said, that's that's me saying it live. But um, okay, in the first match, I didn't do DPS on wake up. Then I wanted him to respect me, cause I want him to leave me alone on wake up. Leave me alone on wake up. I'll leave you alone on wake up. And there you see, when I jumped in, I didn't know how fast his fireball recovered, so I didn't know whether that was a good jump in or a bad one. It felt good, but I didn't risk it. And. I'm just gonna let y'all know up front. I don't. I didn't practice supers. I don't know what the supers do. I'll, I'll practice them in a few minutes. But right now I'm playing bare bones Street Fighter Four, crouching medium kick Hadouken. I'm gonna throw you if you get up close to me. I'm gonna jab you away from me. I'm gonna jump just to check can you anti air, and literally mix those options together and play you with my mind. Pause. You can. You saw how deep that DP was. That's how slow my reactions was. Like I saw it, but down four, down four punch. I just look at it. That that parry I did just then. That was mental programming to focus attack. So it just kind of worked out. All right, right here. I'm not throwing fireballs just to be throwing them. I'm actually practicing. I'm practicing my down four punch motion. Wake up DP. Now that Tasu was to catch him on a back dash. You see me grayed out. I don't care. I'm not using my drive meter anyway. I could I couldn't care less. I'm not I'm not playing Street Fighter 6 yet. So to answer the question that Jordan asked on pacing, he didn't ask the question. Let me fix that. Speaking on pacing on playing a new game, I don't play the new game. Nobody you have to make if you want me to play Street Fighter 6, make me. I'm going to make you play Street Fighter 4. And I did the same thing in Marvel vs. Capcom. I remember when Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out. I picked Akuma, Ryu, and Chun-Li. And I was playing Street Fighter 4. Because it's the only game I knew. So he's going to have to beat me in Street Fighter 4 to make me play Street Fighter 6. Because I understand on the controller, L1 is drive impact. Basically your focus attack if y'all haven't learned the new... Uh, terminology yet and L2 is your parry so it's kind of like your focus attack is split into two different things it's split into the parry and it's split into the actual attack but I'm not using L1 and L2 at all um, I pushed them a few times thinking they do an EX button because if y'all remember on 4 L1 well if your buttons were set to the, the basics um, those are just your Triple punch, triple kick buttons. Alright, so... Oh, snap. I that, that it caught me every time. I mean, he could have kept doing it to... Like I said, he could have forced me to play Street Fighter 6, but he didn't. Um, As y'all can see, when I landed that cross-up just then, I didn't have the... I didn't know a combo to... I caught him up close without crouching. That right there, I had been looking for that the whole match. I don't know if that works like it used to in Street Fighter 4, but I'm just trying to hit you low and then... Oh, wow, he super me. Okay, and it pushed me away from him. That's good. Let's see what I can do. Got Y'all know how I feel about super. Okay. Hold on. Y'all know how I feel about super. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all already know how I feel about supers. Let's get it. I'm gonna try to, oh. Okay. I'm try to anti air with crouching hard. No. Let's pause this video. Let's rewind that just a little bit. Like, let's go back 10 seconds. All right. Let me say something. You cannot let people walk right up on you. That was disrespectful what he just did. I'm going to play it again, but that was very disrespectful. That's why I, I, I did an EX Powerball, just to knock him down to, to, to back away from him because he's being disrespectful. So let's check it out. I'm going to try to... Oh. I'm going to try to anti All right. So now I'm trying to force uh, zone on him. 
that was supposed to be a sweet Padukan, and you see my inputs just went to hell. But um, I just can't. I'm trying to figure out a safe anti-air. That was supposed to be a fireball. Obviously, you can tell by the range, but I love that. Did y'all see the range on that DP? All right, let's go back. All right, so the range on this DP is insane. But y'all, check out this neutral jump kick that I used to keep him from jumping forward because now it's clear I can't anti-air him. I mean... Now I, ha I have accepted that I'm not good at anti-air, so check this out. Fireballs, that, that EX fireball. That's not just me throwing fireballs, y'all. The first fireball, he blocked it. The second fireball was to, to keep him standing still. So look, watch this. All right, here we go. That's the DP. All right, here you go. Fireball, he blocked it. The EX, look. I've been playing Street Fighter for a long time. That wasn't no... I'm not just throwing fireballs, just throwing them. This is dodgeball, baby. And I plan on winning. y'all see it? There it was. That was the neutral jump I was talking about. That was just... That was a... I see the jumps. I just can't actually anti-air them. So here it is. I just jumped up. Neutral jump, anti-air. This is the space I want him in. Right here. Now, at this spacing, he... I believe cannot land a jump in attack on me. So the best he can do is really empty jump because you really wouldn't want to hit a button because you'd be negative when you hit the ground. So this is the range where I'm I'm semi comfortable throwing fireballs. The only problem I have with Street Fighter 6 is they don't do chip damage. So when I'm throwing fireballs, the real question is why am I throwing them? And I don't really have an answer for that. In all honesty, I'm wondering in Street Fighter 6, should I play a um a uh, rushdown character? Somewhat like um in DNF Duel, I played that Kami character, Striker. I'm just not a natural rusher. I'm naturally a zoner. So I'm playing against my better mind. Like even in Injustice, I tried to play Bane. I sucked at it. I don't pause. I don't play rushdown characters well, but Let's just be honest. The way fighting games are, are going, they, they kind of ease and zoning out the game. So here I am throwing fireballs. They don't do chip damage. The, what it is is nobody's patient enough to actually take advantage of the fact that they don't do chip damage. So he's getting hit by fireballs, and he's letting, he's letting my fireballs control the pace of the game even though they shouldn't. It's Street Fighter VI. That's why I said from the beginning... I'm going to make you play Street Fighter 4 until you make me play Street Fighter 6. Now, if he used his drive system to stop me from throwing fireballs, then I would have stopped. You see that? It, all it's doing is killing his, his uh, drive meter, but it's not like he's using it. What does he care? I didn't know what that did. I was terrified. Look at that. Look at this. Oh wow. That is tragic. Drop impact in the corner dizzy me. He stole that. It's two one my way. I guess this guy's name is Bloopy. I don't know. Oh, okay. So that was his parry. Counter hit. I'm hitting buttons. Y'all got to read the side of the screen. It's telling you what you're doing wrong. I don't know why Pauls is on the screen. <laughs> Get off the screen. Sorry about that, y'all. That's just the controller. That's just the controller. Low forward Hadouken should come out. That's why I didn't even do it that time. I actually, they're right there like, oh snap, Ryu has different moves. I'm learning. You see me like a robot. Learning. Yeah, I'm going to turn me up. I'm saying the same things even in the stream. Look. That was a good trade. It stopped me from anti airing them. I couldn't tell what was happening. I just... 
You know what? That's a good point. I couldn't tell what was happening. Let's watch that again. I couldn't tell what was happening. I just... Yeah, I just honestly can't see what's happening. Here you go. It's going to happen again. Jump in. I couldn't tell what was happening. I just... I don't know what to say. I just, you just literally can't see what's happening. You don't know if you're hitting them three times is what I'm trying to say. Y'all know. Y'all know I didn't try to wake up super. Now, did I try to wake up fireball? Probably, yeah. He's mine, he's mine. I got the utmost confidence in myself that I'm gonna end this. But I'm going to tell y'all, from Street Fighter 4, I believe that was Super. I used to play Super Street Fighter 4 with my boy Dark Knight 99 every week. And I would just watch him play rank. And I was terrified of rank. I'm talking about nerves. I'm talking about sweat. I'm talking about heart rate. I'm talking about terrified. And, I mean... This just can't compete. It's, I'm just not as. I don't know what it is. I want to win, but I understand you're not gonna win every match. But I just, just anxiety. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But if you, hey, if you have the same feelings when you play a rank, hey, leave a comment. Leave a comment. Just tell me, uh, does rank terrify you? All right, so y'all know I didn't try to. About being tired, I don't care nothing about. I didn't try to roll DP. I tried to throw a fireball. Coming out is is. Hold on, let's throw in some focus attacks, even though I don't really see the point of it. Cause. Mmm. He kicked. He kicked too early. Mmm. You go to focus attack. I mean, I called it a focus attack. That was a check. What you're doing, fireball? I threw that ex on purpose or overdrive fireball on purpose. And let me say this real quick. I'm throwing the overdrive fireballs for a knockdown. Not for a two-hit fireball. Not for speed. Only for a knockdown. A knockdown gives me a time, a split second to think, and it gives me a time to recontrol, re um, uh, uh, to regroup on my spacing. All right. So that's the only reason I'm throwing overdrive fireballs. And I mean, like I said, I'm look, I'm not even looking at this. This overdrive ball up here, who cares? I am trying new moves. Now I ain't got cocky. I'm trying new moves. Hey, that, that's not a deep thing. I messed up the inputs. It is so hard to play on a control. I don't know how you guys do it. I used to be one of y'all, but I'm just going to be honest with y'all. This ain't even possible. It ain't even close to being possible. Now, on a PlayStation 4 controller, very possible. But on this PlayStation 5 controller, no. No, no thank you. What just happened? Oh, it made me get up. All right, y'all, and that's All my right. avatar. I like it. All right, y'all, let's take a break. Uh, that was fun, but let's take a look. Break. Let me pause the video. Look, if y'all like that, I got more content. I got uh one more match. Look, a match just started out of nowhere, and I wasn't even sitting at the desk. So I got that match. If y'all want to check that out, leave a comment. Say, hey, we want more. Um, like and subscribe to the channel. Everything I do, I'm gonna put it on my backup channel, Protect Konoha. Um, I'm really excited about this game. And we got this beta for, I think, for three days. So y'all gonna see a lot more content. Let's get it.